event, as you mentioned earlier, 17th time the MAC championships have been in Albany. Richards no right the rebound. Season, Siena averaged 6,591 fans per game. Hogan Yemi no. And they are always among the mid and let's go. Long gives to Ogun Yemi. Nico Clareth off to Marquise Wright. Seven to shoot. Wright through the legs. Bounce pass Long. Open from the baseline. LeVon Long's been a nice spark for the Saints. Yeah, he's done a good half. Getting into gaps, forcing that defense to collapse, and then finding the open guy. Here goes Shane Richards, drawing a crowd. Nice up fake in the easy two. Well, that back screen on a nice diagonal cut. They Four points for the fourth leading score in the league. Richards comes in averaging 17.3. He was brilliant night before last with 27 against Maris. Clareth fouled on what I think was a two-point shot. Learned to play defense, be aggressive, and not foul. Only game he's fouled out this year, the triple overtime game against Manhattan. First two years combined, he fouled out 25 times. And that was in limited minutes. Williams. Nice feed from Richards. Yeah, nice two-man game. I mean, you're going to commit to trying to take Richards away. Guys like Williams are going to have some good opportunities. And Williams has 18 points. His career-high 27 coming last Friday against Iona. Long off the up fake. Able to finish. That's a nice job stepping through. Able to. Has dominated points in the paint as well. Williams, a rare miss for him. Tom had. That was the 15 foul here in the second half against Manhattan. Hogan Yemi faces up from the free throw line. He's got two. Hey, and able to turn, face. He was guarding him. That's a foul shot. Why not? Go ahead and take it. You know, when he transferred to Boston University over the summer and spent a couple of months with Coach Jones, it was that staff that helped to further identify the fact that, you know, Ogan Yemi's got a nice stroke. Crawford off the quick first step. And so with that added confidence that Ogan Yemi transferred back from BU to Siena with, it has further rounded out his game. Great split. The double team indeed. Marquise right though way off the mark. LeVon Long fouled before the putback. Be able to withstand the injury to right. Yeah, a lot more depth. Bad pass. So you get a three on one. Clareth off to right. Missed the layup. He gets it back. Goes right back to the rim. Well, maybe that'll get him going as far as scoring the basketball. Tonight. Marquise Wright had missed his first eight shot attempts. A big offensive possession here for Manhattan. Obviously, going to try to get Williams and Richards involved. This is Siena's largest lead. Third time tonight. We've seen Wilson get right to the basket. Uh, maybe not. Block shot Wilson. He's got the basketball. Four on two. Capuano for three. Williams keeps it alive. Crawford blocked from behind by Ogunyemi. And here comes Clareth. The freshman to the bucket over Richards. And it rolls in. Uh, he is so good in the open floor. Good shots. That's what he's focused in on right now. So right back on the floor along with Bisping, Long, and Clareth, as well as Ogunyemi, who's got the tough assignment on Richards, who sticks it in his eye. Uh, jabbed off Ogunyemi, got himself a little bit. As we've seen, Richards put it to the floor a couple of times to tr try to go by Ogunyemi. That time he was able to jab, get him off and create the space for the shot. Well, Bisping and Ogunyemi give you mismatches inside, but when you can get them out on the perimeter defensively, perhaps they can take advantage. A lot to choose from. Yeah, it's certainly plenty of guys that are possibilities. You always think it's going to be one of the post guys because they get so many more opportunities with shots at the rim and rebounding situations, but I'm not sure. Williams attacks. The league's defensive player of the year. But then they fall asleep. First time the Jaspers haven't gotten back defensively. Claret loves Capuano, Waterman, and Richards on the floor for Manhattan. The two-time defending MAC tournament champs. Trying to rally from 11 down. Richards. Air ball tipped up by Waterman. Good hustle by Waterman. Fifteen to shoot. Williams for three. He's got it. 
And much like Shane Richards, it's the jab step that gets the defender all primitive. Lee cut to six. Long kills the dribble off to Clara. And Manhattan's got the momentum right now. They sure do. Oganyemi left open from the high post. He's got two and a timeout called by Patsos. That's why Manhattan's gotten back into the ball game. 16 forced turnovers from Manhattan's defense. And Siena's got Marquise right back on the floor playing with four fouls. Waterman blocked by Oganyemi. Long into Clareth for three. Good closeout by Capuano. Oganyemi just throws it up on the backboard. Siena's going to have another shot clock. Oganyemi tries again. Which way will the call go? It's a blocking foul. Let's see if Siena tries to get the ball into the hands of Wormley at all or just leave it in the possession of Wright. Into the corner. Capuano. Williams drives around Wormley and Wright steals the pass. Way to drop low and protect him from picking up another foul. Bisping off the inbound. Terrific look from LeVon Long. Yeah, good execution. He came open. Nice bounce. Called Bisping's name after his monster first half. It's nice when you got a guy like Long that can be your guy to inbound the basketball. Capuano from way downtown. They had an opportunity on a couple of threes in transition. Williams allows Long to run past and knocks down a two-point shot. Uh, he's been on fire. They've got to start concentrating. Days in college basketball, it is difficult to get a charge. And we've had nine, a bunch. Yeah, nine tonight. out of ten of those in college basketball are blocks. That one was a block. Lob inside. Richards taking advantage of Oliver. And I'll tell you what. How about the guts to turn is take care of the basketball and get good shots. Clareth glances up at the shot clock. Now right directs traffic. Clareth. Oganyemi. Spins to the basket and puts it in. Looking for Richards. Here he is. Crosses over long. Puts it up. Left it short. Crawford the offensive rebound. Uh, Crawford has given him a good spark and this guy's carried him. Williams with a rare miss. Back tap to Williams. And again, it's Crawford with his size. Basketball in, and then you've got to quickly get into something. Long back to right with six now on the shot clock. Right to Oganyemi for three. Banks it in. The second made bank three for the team points. Wilson directing traffic, wants Williams to come to him. And Long's done a good job trying to keep the ball away from Williams. Stores to the corner. Wilson along the baseline, trying to draw the foul, can't get it. Nice job by Oganyemi to sidestep it. Three to get it across, they do. Two and a half minutes to go. And here's where against this zone, I think you've got to find a way to get this thing into the high post area, right there. Right on cue, Coach Kennedy, but he couldn't hit the shot. Long. Long to right. Wrap around. Bisping. Now that's Marquise Wright not worrying about scoring the basketball. Instead, co-captain to co-captain, the lead back to double digits. And look how far Williams has to come out to receive the basketball. And again, Richards just having a field day on the post with Al Wilson goes to work. Pass deflected by Long. Long's done a much better job defending Will Williams. Rebound Wilson back to Richards. Good job by Clareth to force the pass to Storrs who hits. And Timeout a Manhattan. And a Williams looking for a new career high. Can't get it. Rebound Gottfried and Oliver can just dribble it out. Well the defending champs are defending no more. Manhattan knocked out of the back quarter finals 89-76. But they defended with heart, grit, and determination. Just undermanned and undersized.